News for Jackson reporter Aaron Farrar is live on Old St. Augustine Road to show you how to get around where the road is blocked in that area. So, Aaron, part of it's just still covered in water from yesterday's dousing rain. All this water you see that still remains on Old St. Augustine Road. People in this area said it started piling up and getting on in this area around 6 o'clock last night, and this still remains. I will say since we've been here since about 6 o'clock this morning, uh, th this there has been some water that has receded, but it still is a trouble spot here. That's why you still see the signs that are closing down the roads. You see people turning onto Corey Road, which is off of Old St. Augustine Road to try to get around and get on to San Jose. The other way to do that is if you're going north on Old St. Augustine Road, uh, you do need to actually uh, take Hartley to get uh, onto San Jose Boulevard, which is right at the light that we're showing you right there. The other area you see people turning onto Pritmore Road. So people are trying to find ways around, but People who also are familiar with this area, they say they haven't seen it this bad ever. They say that they are accustomed to different flooding, but this is the worst that they've seen. Across the street, though, we want to point out, that's a dry cleaner. That's one business that the owners told me had some water get into their business. They had to clean that out yesterday, but now they're fearing that they're not able to do any business today because people, for the time being, can't get into the parking lot across there because of the water. But this is not the only area that's dealing with situations like this. This is a video from San Marco. And people, if you've been watching our newscast over the last couple of days, you know that of how bad that area was. This is what it looked like yesterday for round two of that rain event. Cars trying to go through the water, other people trying to walk around, get through, and find different ways around. And this is the aftermath of that. This is video from this morning when we got, went back to that area. The water is gone, but cars remained. At least seven different cars were stalled out, had to be left abandoned in the road. You see several along San Marco Boulevard, others on Naira Road. Uh, road as well. So that was the situation that we saw. This is getting a lot of reaction. Even one city council member, Joe Carlucci, posted this late last night on social media. This is what he posted on his ex account. He said, quote, I have a call tomorrow morning, which is this morning, with our public works director regarding what solutions the city can deploy immediately to help alleviate this flooding. This is ridiculous, and I'm trying to get as much help as soon as possible. Hang in there, folks. So as we give you another live look this morning at just how much water remains, you see the geese have found another pond in this area while this water remains on the road. JSL will have this part of Old St. Augustine Road closed down until all of this water recedes. There's no telling of how long that's going to be. We're live this morning. I'm Aaron Furrar, Channel 4, The Local Station.